appointment until 11.45, which I was not happy about. I was not happy that, you know, I had to sit in there and I felt like, you know, I don't know, I just felt like we were just like on a, I don't know, like it was just so many people in there. I felt like they were doing the same exact thing to each and every one of us and just taking us through the whole process when each and every one of our cases are just different. So I don't know if I'm going back to this doctor's office. I think I'm going to find a different one that I feel more comfortable going to, more comfortable with them knowing my business and feeling like, you know, I'm getting the care that I deserve because I work in the medical field and the office that I work in, you know, we treat our patients individually. We treat them, you know, like family. We're just, we're just very loving in the doctor's office that I work in. And this place, I don't know, I just, I'm just i just not very confident in them. So anyway, they did a vaginal ultrasound on me. And um, it didn't hurt at all. You know, I thought it was going to hurt, but it didn't hurt at all. But the purpose of the vaginal ultrasound was to see how my follicles are growing and to see my uterus and they also checked to make sure I have both of my kidneys. Now doing my vaginal ultrasound, they found out that I have what's called a bicornuated uterus, which means that my uterus does not look like an upside down triangle. It's in a heart shape and each side have horns on them. So I've done a lot of research on that. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm kind of happy with the research that I did because they didn't give me any information. They made it seem like, you know, oh, it's okay, you know, you it's cool, you have two uteruses and this, that, and the third. And I don't think it's cool at all. I mean, I want a normal uterus to be able to, you know, go through my pregnancy without any worries. Man, it is very windy. I hope you guys can hear me. If not, I'm just going to have to re-record. Um, but anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's not, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not cool to have, you know, two uterus, but it's not normal. And with having the bicornuated uterus, it's a higher percent chance that I will have a miscarriage in my second trimester. And um, it's a higher chance that I will have a breech birth because the baby does not have enough uh, enough room to move or you know turn around or whatever it needs to do um, so I'm, it's a higher chance that I might have a breech birth breech birth and um, I more than likely will probably have to have a c-section and when I do get pregnant I will have to be watched very very closely so I mean that's kind of a bummer but the upside of it is that having a bicornuated uterus does not stop you from getting pregnant at all but you need to make sure, well, I need to make sure that I actually do have a bicornuated uterus and not a spectrum. So, yeah, I found all that out during my ultrasound. And then I went back for my 11.45 appointment, which they did not take me back till 1.30. And um, I had my HSG test done where they saw that, um, oh, in my vaginal ultrasound, they saw that I had two eggs growing on my left side and they were both the same size she said they were both 14 millimeters or however they measure it they were both at 14 um and when you ovulate your egg your egg should be at like 22 or 23 i think so i, I wasn't i was about to i was about to ovulate um i think today is actually the day that i'm supposed to ovulate because yesterday oh my god like yesterday morning my left side was in so much pain i guess from the egg just growing and releasing because in the afternoon after lunch and everything you know i felt fine i felt i, I didn't feel as bad as i felt that morning because i was oh my god it was it was painful not that painful to where i couldn't you know function or anything because i was still working um but it was very painful so i could definitely tell so 
questions. I had to make him stand there and draw me what a normal uterus looks like because I didn't understand what he was trying to show me on my ultrasound picture, which I might take a picture of and put it in this video. But he showed me like how my uterus looks and I guess I see how it looks. I don't know, but whatever. So me and my husband, we are still trying. I heard that after the HSG that you have, you know, a higher chance of getting pregnant. And they also pre prescribed me Clomid last cycle. So that's why I ovulated so late, uh, I guess, because normally I ovulate, you know, a little bit earlier, but this time I ovulated on day, well, it's not that late. I guess I ovulated on day 16, um, which is, which was yesterday. No, yeah, which was yesterday. Today is day 17. And that's when the doctor said that I should ovulate. He said I should ovulate um, on Tuesday. And today is Tuesday, so we have been baby dancing, you know, a lot here. <laughs> so hopefully something is implanted, and I'm just not really going to get my hopes up because, you know, I'm tired of that. So they, they, um, the doctor called me yesterday, well not the doctor, one of her nurse staff or whatever called me yesterday, and unfortunately I missed the call, um, but she left me a message saying, you know, um, that the doctor want us to try for three months with the Clomid and that um, after three months, if nothing happens, then I guess we'll move forward. But I doubt that I will move forward with them at all because, yeah. I'm going to try this three-month thing with the Clomid. I really did not want to have to take any medication, you know, trying to conceive. But, you know, if that's what I have to do right now, then that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to do anything too invasive or take anything too invasive because, oh my God, after they did the HSG um, thing on me, they prescribed me something begin with a D, which is an antibiotic, and it's supposed to help stop infection or whatever. I took one pill that same night, and that whole night I was over the toilet throwing up. Like, that that mess, <laughs> that was awful and it so reminded me of when that one doctor prescribed me metformin because she thought I had PCOS um, which this doctor's office when they did my vaginal ultrasound they wasn't they didn't seem very confident I mean she said it looks like I might have you know um, some polycystic some poly whatever cysts on my right ovaries but it wasn't like yes ma'am you definitely have cysts on your ovaries you definitely have PCOS so I mean I didn't get that I still haven't gotten that definite answer and whatever so I guess I'll keep you guys you know I, I will keep